Hello everybody, this is Syl, and I wanted to welcome you guys back to Clan Gen. So, it's the last time we saw everything. We unfortunately had a good chunk of deaths in Maple Clan, but now we have a new leader, and we're gonna see just how well they can they can manage the clan from now on. So for now, we are going to continue onward and seeing what happens with Starling Clan. So here we are, Starling Clan. Everybody's around in all the different dens. One of the apprentices is in uh, the nursery, just having a fun time. And we're gonna go ahead and check out and see how everybody's doing, especially our newer leader, Flystar. So Gusleaf wishes she was still in her nest sleeping. She's wise and a great teacher. She's getting to be up there um, in age. She's got no family or anything. And let's check out her relationships. She dislikes Tumble Stripe and Mantis Blaze, as well as Juniper Slip, Jasper Fang. The deep platonic love for Orange Splash dislikes Dune Fur, Burr Seed, Haze Fall. Dislikes a decent chunk of cats, but I haven't seen any hatred. Here we have Mantis Blaze, our trans female. She's strict and an excellent fighter. She's also starting to get up there in age. She dislikes Bubbling Stream and Gust Leaf. Has a heavy reliance on squirrel fur. The platonic love for her kit morning foot. Let's see, dislikes pale splash slightly, as well as haze fall and fox needle. Seems to just really love all of her kits, though she dislikes these two just a tad. Dislikes lightning fur just a little bit, but again, no hatred. Bubbling Stream, originally having Spider Star as his mate who passed away. He's thoughtful and an excellent mediator and thinks he's going crazy. He really hates Pheasant Spots, his own kit. He dislikes a lot of cats. Hates Burseed as well. Dislikes Haze Fall. Dislikes a lot of cats, but only has one cat that he hates. Tumblestripe is recounting daring expeditions for the younger cats to hear. He is ambitious and extremely smart. Let's see. There are a couple of cats that he seems to dislike, but I don't see anything relating to hatred. So that's good. Here we have Flystar. He is confident and a great hunter, has pheasant spots as his mate. He caught a huge rabbit. So he dislikes tumble stripe and bubbling stream. Has a small bit of romantic like for Gus Leaf, but still really loves uh, his mate. Dislikes Juniper Slip and Jasper Fang. Dislikes Pale Splash, Burr Seed, Orange Splash a little bit. Also has a romantic like for Orange Flash, that's interesting. There's like Morning Foot, Fox Needle, Sleek Pelt, U Tail, Russet Pelt just a little, and Copper Tail just a little, and Snip Paw just a little. Okay, but no hatred. Pheasant Spots, he is altruistic and has a strong connection to Stark Land. He has Blaze Paws, his apprentice, his mate is Fly Star, and he volunteered for some extra duties. Let's see. Really loves his mate. Dislikes Tumble Stripe and his father. And Mantis plays a little. Really hates Dune Fur. Dislikes a couple of his siblings, but nothing of hatred. Dislikes Burr Seed and Orange Splash. Dislikes Deer Dusk, his kit. Everybody else seems okay. Squirrel Fur, she is helping to reinforce the nursery wall with brambles. She's fierce and an excellent fighter. She was originally, um, 
She was born into the clan, but one of her parents was an outsider that brought her um, over to here. Her mate is Jasper Fang. Ryegrass uh, originally adopted her. Let's see. Dislikes pheasant spots and juniper slip. Gust leaf, tumble stripe, fly star. Uh, still a, is on a weird relationship with Jasper Fang. Dislikes Dune for a little bit. Has a romantic like for Pale Splash, which is interesting. Dislikes Sleek Pelt, Bay Eye, Haze Fall, Fox Needle. Also has a bit of a romantic light for Lightning Fur. Alder Dawn. Okay, but no hatred. I'll just see where her relationship with Jasper Fang goes. Juniper Slip, he is currently uh, snoring at a ridiculous volume. He is shameless and a good teacher, and his apprentice is Snip Paw. Has a deep platonic love for his father. Dislikes Gus Leaf, Fly Star, Squirrel Fur, Jasper Fang, Dune Fur, Burr Seed, Orange Splash, Bay Eye, Sleek Pelt, Morning Foot. Lightning for just a little bit, but nobody else. Then here we have Jasper Fang. She is loyal and has a strong connection to Star Clan. She caught a huge rabbit. She's got Squirrel Fur as her mate. She hates Gus Leaf and Bubbling Stream, one of which is her own father. Let's see, really loves her brother. Dislikes Fly Star. Dislikes Juniper Slip and. S dislike squirrel for a bit. But again, we're going to see how well that relationship goes. Dislike stoon fur, bird seed, orange splash, bay eye a little bit, sleek pelt, fox needle, snip paw, tulip paw. Okay. Here we have Dunefur. He is strange and an excellent kid sitter. He's currently recovering from birth. Let's see, dislikes Gus Leaf, Bubbling Stream. Has a small interest in Tumble Stripe. Dislikes Pheasant Spots, Squirrel Fur. Hates Burr Seed. Still loves Pale Splash, dislikes Bay Eye, has a little bit of a romantic interest in Sleek Pelt. Dislikes Fox Needle, Morning Foot, Copper Tail, Alder Dawn. Wow, okay. Sharing wisdom with the younger cats that is less than helpful. <laughs> Goodness. Pale Splash, he is cold and very smart. Uh, he is one of Dunefur's kits, and he's spending a considerable amount of time grooming. See, dislikes, bubbling stream, tumble stripe, fly star, pheasant spots a little bit. Has a little bit of a romantic interest in squirrel fur. Dislikes juniper slip, jasper fang a little bit. Dislikes burr seed, orange splash, bay eye, haze fall, alder dawn, snip paw. Interesting, okay. Here we have Burseed. She is vengeful and a great fighter. She has Fox Needle as her mate. She hates Bubbling Stream. She doesn't like Pheasant Spots, Gus Leaf, Fly Star, Jasper Fang, Dune Fur, Pale Splash. Has a small dislike for Fox Needle. Alder Dawn, Russet Pelt, Copper Tail. Okay, she dislikes a lot of cats. Orange Splash, um, he's our medicine cat. He's currently in the medicine den. He's careful and a good teacher. He was originally a loner. Lots of platonic love, really dislikes Tumble Stripe. Doesn't like Bubbling Stream all that much. Has a small romantic interest in Fly Star. Um, not a big fan of Pheasant Spots. Or Juniper Slip. Doesn't like Jasper Fang. Kind of meh with Pale Splash. Doesn't like Sleep Pelt or Haze Fall. Or Morning Foot. Or Alder Dawn. Or Copper Tail. Or Snip Paw. Or Lightning Fur. <laughs> Goodness. 
Bei, she is patient and a fantastic teacher, listening to a story she's heard many, many times. Lots of platonic love, some dislike for Squirrel Fur, Juniper Slip, and Jasper Fang. Really hates Hazefall, but also loves them platonically. So I guess that's that's a bit of a weird subject then, I suppose. Doesn't like Dune Fur. Doesn't like Copper Tail. Hazefall, she's calm and an excellent speaker. She's currently feeling sore right now. Let's see, doesn't like Gus Leaf or her father that much. Hmm. Doesn't really like Burseed all that much. Doesn't like Q-Tail too much. Okay, but doesn't isn't feeling super strongly. Then we have Sleek Pelt, an elder, compassionate and extremely smart. He was originally a disgraced deputy from another clan. Let's see. Doesn't like Flystar too much. Or Jasper Fang, or Juniper Slip, or Squirrel Fur. Has a bit of a romantic interest in Dune Fur. Doesn't like Orange Splash, Bay Eye, U-Tail. But you know what? We'll go ahead and and have these two get together. I think they could be cute. Fox Needle, she's bloodthirsty and extremely smart. She was originally a kitty pet. Regrets not eating the bird on the fresh kill pile earlier, and her mate is Burseed. Let's see. Has a lot of cats she doesn't really like. I guess her and Burseed are a bit complicated, but she doesn't hate anybody. Morningfoot, she is wise and smart. Um, Mantis Blaze uh, is her mother, has a deep platonic love for her mother. Let's see, dislikes a couple cats, but again, no hatred. Utail. Trans male, he is our medicine cat. He is sneaky and a fantastic teacher. Again, one of Mantis Blaze's kits. Feels closely with Orange Splash. Isn't a big fan of Bubbling Stream or Fly Star or Tumble Stripe or Fox Needle. But doesn't hate anybody. Alder Dawn, he is bold and a great hunter. Another one of Mantis Blaze's kits, he wants to go on a hunting patrol. Let's see. He doesn't like a couple cats, but I don't see anything that's full on hatred, which is good. Dear Dusk, she is strange and a good fighter. She's currently guarding the camp entrance. Platonically uh, loves her father, but her other father, it's kind of 50-50 on it. But doesn't hate anybody. Rossipelt, he is loving and a great teacher. Really loves his fathers. Dislikes Burseed. And Coppertail and his sister. Coppertail is cold and a great fighter. She's feeling nervous. Let's see, really loves her father, Flystar, and also loves her other father, Pheasant Spots. Dislikes Dunfur, Burseed, Orange Splash, Bay Eye, Utail, Alderdon, Russet Pelt, Mink Whisker, We'll pause slightly. Mink Whisker, she was formerly a kitty pet. She is thoughtful and an excellent fighter. She's currently in the medicine den. Let's see here. Dislikes Snip Paw a little. And dislikes Blaze Paw a little. Okay. Snip Paw, he is cold and has Juniper Slip as his mentor. He's chattering at the birds in the trees above. 
one of Flystar and Pheasant Spot's kids. He is about to become a warrior pretty soon, along with his siblings. Oh, I guess it's just him. My bad. Lightning Fur, she is loyal and an excellent fighter. She is feeling happy and she was formerly a rogue. Let's see, doesn't like Tumble Stripe, Juniper Slipper, Dune Fur that much. Has a small romantic interest in Pale Splash. Doesn't like Orange Splash. Everything else is pretty minor. Blaze Paw has pheasant spots as her mentor. She's gathering moss and she's childish. Molepa has Flystar as his mentor. He is wise. He's thinking about how awful kitty pet food must taste. Tulip Paw has Birdseed as her mentor. She's staring off into space, one of Squirrel Fur and Jasper Fang's kits. And that is everybody. So Snip Paw's going to become a warrior in two moons. In a couple more moons, Blaze Paw and Molepa. And then soon after them, it'll be Tulip Paw. All right, let's check out everybody in Star Clan. Spider Star is feeling happy, our original leader of the clan. Slit Claw is playful and very smart, is still worried about the clan. Ryegrass is observing how the diff how different the clan is from when uh, she was alive. She's loyal and a good storyteller. Tawny Freckle is listening to long forgotten stories about the clan. He is ambitious and a good storyteller. Willow Fang is acting uh, huffy at Branch Leap. She was compassionate and had a strong connection to Star Clan. Cherry Heart, one of our medicine cats, is righteous and a great speaker. She's admiring Star Clan territory. Mint Stripe, empathetic and a good teacher. He's she's worried about the cats in the dark forest. Beaver Pad is wise and a fantastic teacher. She's worried about the clan. Was one of Spider Star and Bubbling Stream's kits. Branch Leap is sad seeing how the clan has changed. He is troublesome and extremely smart. Fernpaw originally had uh, ryegrass as their adoptive parent, and she's hoping she'll be remembered. Logpaw was another one of Spider Star and Bubbling Stream's kids who passed away when she just became an apprentice. She was insecure and is curious about the other clans. And we still have nobody that's in the Dark Forest. So I'm going to go ahead and have everybody pair up with their mentors. So let's see. Managing to catch a thrush. Manage to catch some fish. Manage to catch a mouse. They're going to patrol instead. I accidentally hit the wrong button there, but that's okay. Going to have our medicine cats go out where they find a lovely sunny spot. Manage to drive off a small dog. Managing to drive off some rogues. And we're not going to confront a large dog. Let's see. I have a new cat in the clan. I shall change her name. Let's see. Your name is going to be... Hmm. Pond Speckle. Pond Speckle, she's altruistic and a great fighter. She was formerly a kitty pet. She's wearing a spiky bow. All right. I'm just going to have our medicine cats go out first where they talk about a potential vision. Let's see. Okay. The key is fine. Got some new fighting techniques. Managed to catch a thrush.
it was another thing with a key. Managed to find a lovely sunny spot, telling some stories, and managed to settle a dispute. Okay. Let's see. We now have Snippy. Bubbling stream will always love Spider Star, but it has decided to move on. He's fall is wearing some moth wings. Alder Dawn went missing for a couple days. Well, let's check out Snippy. Snippy is calm and a good teacher. He's feeling very excited right now. I imagine he would be after just becoming a warrior. Let's see. Talking about some more visions together. Managing to catch a rabbit together. Driving off a small dog from the territory. An apprentice was lost. Talking about a potential vision. Renewing some scent borders. And fighting off a fox. Okay. Nothing significant happened. Which I'd say is a, a good thing. See, finding a, another lovely little sunny spot. Managed to catch a mouse. Mopaw was shaken but unharmed. And managed to catch a rat. Okay, good. Let's see, talking about some ghost stories. Talking about a potential vision and driving off a small dog. Okay. Bursi to now she's expecting kids. Utail and Russapelt have become mates. Gusleaf was injured after falling into a river. We now have Blaze Splash and Molewind. See Blaze Splash, she is responsible and smart, is making sure she's done all of her daily daily duties. And Mulwind, he is adventurous and a great hunter, and he's thinking about how awful kitty pet food must taste. <laughs> I imagine it would. Next moon, it'll be Tulip Paw's turn. So excited. Let's see. Talking about a vision from Star Clan. Talking about another vision. Burying this rabbit, telling some stories, managing to catch some fish together, and manage to drive off the rogues. Okay, good. We now have Tulip Pelt. Bursi thinks she'll have four kids. Tulip Pelt is vengeful in a good teacher. Okay, she's currently helping to gather some herbs. Let's see, delving into some more ghost stories with one another. Feelings of mutual respect. Getting some moss. Talking with Star Clan. And catching some fish. Okay. Tumble Stripe was injured. Burr Seed and Fox Needle have four kits. Hazefall announced they're expecting kits. <gasps> Seek Pelt died from infected wood. Pheasant Spots was murdered and Burr Seed murdered them. Oh my gosh. I mean, granted, I know Pheasant Spots wasn't the best cat. But he didn't deserve to be murdered. Perseed. Thinking about love, you just murdered a cat. Mm. Perseed will go into the dark forest. Let's see, we have wet kit. Hmm, I'm not sure that's the, the best name for her. How about we call her something else? Let's 
that's another good name that has a W. Hmm. I keep thinking of Ren, but there's more than just Ren. What about Whirlkit? Whirlkit, she's insecure. Pebblekit, he is troublesome. Riverkit, he is quiet. Burdock kit, he is a bullying little kit. I will at least wait for the kits to become apprentices at the very least, or maybe something happens to Burseed for murdering Flystar's mate. See, so Gusley've got a scar there. And Sleek Pelt passed away due to infected wounds, but he did live a long life. And right now Tumblestripe is is injured somewhere. I can't see where. I at least want to wait until the kids become apprentices before anything happens to Burseed. But if something happens on patrol, I I can't say I'd, I'd be upset. Managed to catch a rabbit. Caught another rabbit. Got rid of some rogues. Talking about a vision. Let's see, talking about a vision. Managing to cross the Thunder Pass. Managing to catch a mouse. Managed to have a little snack. And managed to drive off a fox. Bayai and Dunefur died of yellow cough. Tumblestripe was passed away in his fall. Has two kids. Oh, poor Bayai. Another one of Spider Star and Bubbling Stream's kits. God, so many of them are just passing away. I mean, look at all of them. So far, all that's left is Juniper Slip and, and Jasper Fang and Haze Fall, Blaze Splash and Mole Wind. I can't forgive Percy for just murdering pheasant spots. But let's check out our new kits. We have Aloe Kit, he is nervous, he is half clan, and Shade Kit, he is troublesome and also half clan. But they are both very, very cute. Let's see, talking about a potential vision from Star Clan, talking about another vision. Talking with Star Clan and managed to catch a rabbit. Okay. Hastefall was buried alive in a mudslide. No! Your kids! You just had kids and you felt this sense of dread. Oh no! Well, that means Burseed has to really stay around because now Aloe Kit and Shade Kit are gonna need some milk. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Managed to hunt on another clan's territory. Managed to drive off some rogues. Shaken but unharmed. Getting some moss. Flystar and Orange Splash have moved on from their mates. World Kit was saved by Utail. Mantis Blaze is now 
wearing a poppy flower. It's a lovely poppy flower. <sighs> Burseed. See, managing to cross these underpass safely. Talking about a potential vision. Talking about another vision and running away to report a badger. Orange Splash was pushed off into the sharp rocks, the culprit's unknown. It's Burseed. Burseed wants to have more kids you just murdered. More cats. You've murdered two cats. It wasn't even Fox Needle, and she's bloodthirsty. What on earth? Poor Orange Splash. We now only have one medicine cat. See, so talking with Star Clan, managing to catch a rabbit, managed to catch a large rabbit, fleeing rogue, Whirlpaw has mink with sticker, pebble paws stippy, river paws lightning fur, bardark paw has tulip pelt. So Whirlpaw is calm, she's dreaming of making her clan proud, pebble paw is vengeful but has snippy so hopefully that'll change that trait. River paw, he is wise. Burdock paw is fierce. Okay, so in Tomb Moons, the other kits will be apprentices and then we we can deal with Burseed and what she's done to two cats. Wait, Vengeful? No, you're already fierce. I don't want you to be Vengeful. You're going to have Blaze Flash instead. Because at least she's responsible. Practicing some new fighting techniques. Learning about Kia. A rogue fled. Managed to catch a rabbit together. Reporting a bunch of two legs. Getting some moss. And checking for a badger. Okay, good. Nothing significant happened. Talking about a potential vision. Learning more about Kia. The rabbit's taken away to be buried. Another rabbit's taken away to be buried. Managing to bring back some cat mint. Talking about potential Star Clan vision. And renewing some sense on the border. So, Alopaw having Burr Seed? I don't think so. I don't think so. You're not going to have Burr Seed. Let's see. You're going to have Morning Foot. And Burr Seed? Because of everything that you've done, now that everybody's an apprentice now, you're going to go to the Dark Forest for murdering two cats. So you are going to be in the Dark Forest for what you've done. I'm sorry for Fox Needle, but... If she murdered some cats, 
that's where she's gonna go. I hope that it won't happen to you, Fox Needle. I hope that you'll be better. So Alipaw is sneaky, Shadepaw is strict. Okay. That's not too bad. Hopefully Hayes Fall will be very, very proud. Learning about a bird. Managing to hunt. Managing to catch a mouse. Learning about tohi birds. Managing to get a shrew. Catching a mouse. Catching a large rabbit. Catching another rabbit. And getting a lot of juniper berries. Okay, good. Deer dust fell into a river and lightning fur drowned alongside them trying to rescue them. Blaze Splash is now deputy. Yeah, Bursi as deputy wasn't a good idea. Poor Deer Dusk. And Lightning Fur. She was a good cat. Trying her best to save Deer Dusk. Riverpaw now has Russet Pelt as his mentor. He's loving, so you know what? That's fine. And now Blaze Splash is deputy. And I think that's a very good choice. Let's see, managing to catch a mouse. Getting a squirrel. Catching another squirrel. Managing to catch a rat. Warning about two legs. Whirlpaw's now wearing some herbs. Managing to catch a squirrel. Talking about a dream. We're not going to go near a large dog. And managing to catch a lot of fish. Squirrel Fur announced that she's expecting more kids. That's lovely. Let's see. Managing to catch a mouse. Warning about a lot of two legs. Practicing some teamwork together. Practicing on how to climb cliffs. Managing to catch a big fish. Catching uh, more fish. Telling stories. Juniper Slip was shaken but unharmed. And talking with a Star Clan cat. Morningfoot found an abandoned litter and decided to adopt them. Snippy was injured after messing with a tulip object. Peppa Paw is wearing some cardinal feathers. Squirrel Fro thinks she'll have four kits. I'm curious to see what Burseed is thinking. Cleaning her fur of muck. Yeah. You were a deputy, but you killed two cats. That's not something you should do. So let's check out the kits. Morningfoot has adopted little Elm Kit. He is a nervous kit. We now have Hope Kit. He is a daring kitten. And we have Hatch Kit. He is a sweet kitten. So we have Elm, Hope, and Hatch. I haven't really seen cats named Hope before, but you know what? I really like it. I think the last time I ever heard of a warrior cat be, I think Hope Kit was um, the 
one of the uh, kits that Yellow Fang had that passed away when Broken Star was born. And then here's Pebble Paws. She's wearing some lovely, lovely cardinal feathers. Where is Snippy? Snippy. Oh my gosh, Snippy's blind. Oh goodness. Okay. I'm so sorry that happened to you, poor Snippy. Let's see. Checking out um, the dangers of wolves. That is very, very important. Managing to catch a mouse together. Talking about a potential dream from Star Clan. Managing to catch a mouse. Managed to catch a large rat together. Let's see, world pause okay. Let's see, checking for a badger. Getting uh, more moss. Catching a rabbit. Let's see. Oh goodness, Squirrel Fur passed away giving birth to her kits. No one knows what to do with the litter of them. Jasper Fang? Squirrel Fur would, would want you to care for the kits. We now have Whirl Blotch, Pebble Patch, River Gorse, Burdock Cry. Flystar caught White Cough and died more than once. Fly, Flystar? He's got five lives. Okay, so he lost three. Let's see, World Blot, she is loving and a good fighter. She's picking birds from her pelt. God, she's just beautiful. Pebble Patch, he's careful and a good teacher. River Gorse is thoughtful and a fantastic teacher. Burdock cries, patient and very smart. The other apprentices shall become warriors pretty soon. Let's see, are you interested in anybody that's around your age? You're interested in Blaze Flash and Snippy? Loving, calm, Loving, responsible. I think you two could be cute. So let's see. Squirrel Fur gave birth to Quiet Kit. He's an insecure little kit. Maple Kit, he's a noisy kit. In Bark Kit, she's a little attention seeker. Looks like she got a lot of squirrel furs jeans with the orange and white, although squirrel furs color was mainly just kind of this sort of creamy color. But come on, Jasper Fang. You have you have kits that need you. You need to step up and care for them. Let's see. Talking about a potential vision they might have had. Checking out uh, some wolves. Fox Needle knows this cat. Please don't be it. Be your mate. <laughs> Practicing some new hunting techniques. Managing to catch some mice. And bringing back some fresh kill. Watching Haze fall with a sly smile. Rude. Leave Haze fall alone. She had kids just like you did, but then she unfortunately fell off, can feel some cat for forgetting them. I feel like it could be one of her kits. Cause she, they did die while they were super young. Ugh. 
and then nothing significant happens this moon. Practicing some new fighting techniques. Managing to catch a mouse. Talking about a potential vision. Practicing new hunting techniques. Practicing some new fighting techniques. And managed to catch uh, a lot of prey. Good. Aloe paw is aloe cloud. Shade paw is shade light. Quiet kit fell into a river but was saved by pebble patch. Aloe cloud is faithful and extremely smart. Shade light is fierce and a good hunter. You know what? I think aloe cloud should be a medicine cat. I don't know why, but with that face, I think it would be very helpful to the clan. Little Elm Kit, Hope Kit, and Hatch Kit are going to become apprentices in two more moons. Quiet Kit, Maple Kit, and Bark Kit. I imagine still have a distant relationship with Jasper Fang. Wants to have kits, but you have kits. You have kits that need you. See, finding a lovely sunny spot, battling off a fox, telling some lovely stories, managing to catch a lot of fish, and checking for a badger. Fox Needle will always love Bercy, but has decided to move on. I think that's for the best, Fox Needle. After a recent spar, with whom? Did you try and fight Hazefall and got beaten? I would think so, if, if that's how they're acting, but sometimes you never know. Let's see, talking about a potential vision. Managing to cross the Thunderpath safely. An apprentice was lost. Burying a dead rabbit and checking for another badger. Elmpaw has Gusleaf. Hopepaw has decided to be a medicine cat. And Hatchpaw's Pale Splash, oh my goodness. Okay, so Elmpaw here, he is compassionate, has Gusleaf as an apprentice. He's wondering if he would be a good swimmer. Hopepaw is dreading apprentice duties, but he's charismatic. Oh goodness, I'm so happy. We'll have three medicine cats. Hatchpaw is fierce and has Pale Splash as his mentor. He's dreading his apprentice duties. And Aloe, Aloe Cloud is happy to be a medicine cat. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and have all the medicine cats go on patrol. Where they talk about a vision from Star Clan together. Talking about yet another potential vision from Star Clan. See, practicing some new fighting techniques. Checking for a badger. See, warning about some potential dangerous death berries. Talking about a dream from Star Clan and driving off. A small dog from the territory. Bubble Stream died of infected wounds. I'm sorry, Bubble Stream, but you lived a good long life. And now you're with your mate, Spider Star. Percy just curled up in a ball crying. So let's see, where's Alderdon? Ooh, got that gnarly scar from fighting a dog on his tail. We are going to change uh, her name. She's going to be Kestrel Claw. She's empathetic and a good hunter. She's an older cat. She's a tortoiseshell. Let's see. Quiet Kit, Maple Kit, and Bark Kit are going to be apprentices very soon.
Let's see, talking about a potential vision. Learning about Kia birds. Practicing some teamwork. Able to cross these underpass safely. Mantis place was shaken but unharmed. Did not eat the prey. And battled a fox. Okay. Let's see. Quiet paw has blaze splash. Maple paw has whirl blotch. Bark paw has pebble splash. Jasper Fang will always love squirrel fur, but has decided to move on only when the kits became apprentices. And Gus Leaf got a scar. I can't see where the other scar is. Quiet Paw is sneaky, has Blaze Splash as his mentor. He's pretending to be deputy. He's pretending to be his mentor, basically. Maple Paw has World Blotch. He's righteous, thinks he's going crazy. Bark Paw almost choked on her prey. She's adventurous. Okay. Yeah, I think I think they'd all be good mentors. Let's see. Learning about some hummingbirds. Talking about a vision. There's a large dog. We're not going to go near that. Talking more about Kia birds. Managing to catch a rabbit together. And practicing some new hunting techniques. Finding a lovely sunny spot. Telling stories. And telling some more stories. Actually, Pale Splash is cold. I don't think fierce and cold is a good idea. I think River Gorse could be, though. Jasper Fang has herbs. Pond Speckle was bit by a snake but survived. Tulip Speckle, sorry, Tulip Pelt believes she's a part of a new prophecy. I'll be chosen as the new deputy. But I like Blaze Splash as deputy. I think she's she'll be a great deputy. Perseid is acting suspiciously. I guess that isn't anything new. Let's see. Talking more about the visions with Star Clan. Checking for a badger. Checking out a couple of the other cats. Let's see, managing to get a lot of prey thanks to the two legs. Maple Paw is okay. Learning some fighting techniques. And managing to catch a mouse. Let's see, we're not going to go near that large dog. Talking to some ghost stories. And managing to hunt. Okay, good. We're obliged to announce she's expecting kids. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. <laughs> Let's see. They'll be 
There'll be a Warriors in a few moons when World Blotch has her kits. Ah, so exciting. Let's see, talking about a vision. Managing to catch a mouse. Managing to catch some fish. We're not going to fight a fox when it's just two cats. We're also not going to fight a large dog. And we're not going to fight that fox. Let's see, manage to settle a dispute. Checking for a badger again. And managing to cross this underpass safely. Okay. Been missing for a few days. Thinks I'll have three kids. Let's see. Talking with a Star Clan cat. Learning about a bird. What is it, Tohi? Let's see. Manage to catch a thrush. Talking about a potential vision. Chasing off a small dog from the territory. And talking about another vision. Catching a bunch of prey. Juniper slips okay. And practicing some new fighting techniques okay. Warblotch has four kits. We now have Elm Flame, Hope Claw, and Hatch Swoop. Oh my goodness. That's so exciting. Let's check out our new warriors first. So Elm Flame, he's empathetic and a good teacher. He's worried that others are judging him. He's got some blueberries that he's wearing. Hope Claw is sure that he saw lightning fur appear in the forest today. Ooh, he's charismatic and a fantastic healer. I'm sure Morningfoot's so proud of you. Wearing some lovely oak leaves. Hatch Swoop is strict and a great speaker. He wants to spend some time alone today. That's understandable. Let's see, then these three will become apprentice, sorry, warriors in a couple moons. And let's check out these new little kits. We have J Kit. She's a troublesome little kitten. She's also a, a tabby, just like Snippy. We have Moth Kit. She's a little daydreamer. Actually, it's kind of... She kind of looks like... Um, I think her grandfather, Bubbling Stream. Except just a bit darker. We have Missile Kit. He is a bouncy little one. Also has that brown color that Snippy does, just not a tabby. And then we have Forest Kit. She's an inquisitive kitten. Has the darker brown of World Blotch. Oh goodness, they are all so super cute. Oh, I love them. <laughs> hopefully World Blotch is very, very proud and hopefully so is Snip Snippy. All right, let's have our medicine cats go out where they find a lovely sunny spot for themselves. See, practicing some teamwork together. Warning about a bunch of two legs. Managed to cross the thunder pass safely. Catching a mouse. Practicing some new hunting techniques. Catching another mouse. And bringing back some prey. Thanks to Fox Needle. Moth Kit fell into a river but was saved by Mantis Blaze. Spurta Cry realized that Tom doesn't describe how they feel anymore. Okay. Mulwind was caught breaking the warrior code. Okay. Burdock Cry. Burdock Cry is now non-binary, goes by they, them now. Okay, understandable. 
Very, very understandable. They then burdock cry now. So let's see, talking about Allo Cloud's vision, talking about Bark Paw's vision, managing to catch a bird before it flew away, and warning about more two legs on the territory. Talking about a vision, talking about yet another vision, managing to settle a dispute, and manage to catch a large rabbit in Leaf Bear, that's good. Rivergorse realized Tom doesn't describe how they feel anymore. Okay. We now have Quiet Breeze, Maple Heart. I will change that one. All right, so Quiet Breeze, he is responsible and a fantastic hunter. He currently thinks he's going crazy. Maple Heart is puffing his chest out. He is confident and an excellent fighter. Bark is troublesome and a good speaker. We're going to change your name to, what it, should it be, Bark, Bark Dawn. Bark Dawn, she's troublesome and a good speaker. We still have these little ones that are so cute. See, Quiet Breeze, do you feel anything for anybody? You're interested in Hatch Swoop and Elm Flame. Aloe Cloud a little bit. Rivergorse has also decided to be non binary, so Rivergorse is they, them now. Hmm. I think you share more of an attraction to Hawk Swoop. So you know what, we'll go ahead and have you two be together. See, what about you, Shade Light? Do you like anybody? You like Maple Heart? And Hope Claw? Why don't we have you two be together? Hope Claw and Shade Light, you two both like each other. I think they could be cute. Pond Speckle, she's napping. Fly Star, finding the responsibility of leadership a heavy burden. Yeah, I, I, I'd imagine so. What was it that you romantically liked? Nope, they're, they've all passed away. <laughs> My bad. Oh, goodness. Let's see, talking about a potential vision. Manage to resist the temptation. Manage to hunt. Drove off some rogues. Catching a lot of fish. Snip B was shaken but unharmed, okay. And then nothing significant happens this moon. Our medicine cats find another lovely sunny spot. Managed to retreat as they warn the clan about a badger. Managing to catch some fish. Caught a rat, drove off some rogues, practicing some new fighting techniques. We now have a loner that has joined, who is vengeful. We're going to call you Turtle Skip. She's vengeful and a good teacher. I'm not sure how to feel about her, but I mean, you can be all these things and still be a good cat, so I won't judge you for things that you, you've never done. Let's see. 
talking about some more visions. Managed to not eat the prey. Catching a lot of fish. Practicing teamwork. Warning about a bunch of two legs in the area and practicing some more fighting techniques. Okay. Moldwind was buried alive in a landslide. No, Moldwind. Oh, that's so sad. Moldwind. You were one of Spider Star and Bubbling Stream's last kits. And you were such a good cat, too. Hopefully you find comfort with your siblings and your parents and Star Clan. How are you doing, Burseed? Behaving erratically. I mean, I'd kind of imagine so. Let's see, talking more about uh, some visions. Managed to get a large rat. Fought off some rogues. Practice some teamwork. Did not eat the prey. And we're not messing with a big dog. J Paw has Tulip Pelt. Moss Paw has decided to be a medicine cat, so Aloe Cloud now has an apprentice. Missile Paw has Fly Star. Forest Paw has Russet Pelt. Okay, let's check out these apprentices. So. With J-Paw, I don't really want you to be with Tulip Pelt. I think it would be better if you had Quiet Breeze. Moth Paw, being our medicine cat apprentice, she has Aloe Cloud. So we're going to have four medicine cats. She is loyal and feeling very content. Mistlepaw fell into a nearby creek yesterday and is still feeling damp. He has fly stars as his mentor and he's empathetic. Forest Paw is staring off into space. She is shameless. Okay. I think everything's pretty good. Mantis Blaze is going to retire next moon. So we're going to go ahead and add in all of our medicine cats to go on patrol where they talk about a vision. There's a large dog that we're not going to pursue. Let's see, managed to catch a rabbit. Managed to catch a mouse. Managed to get a lot of prey. Practicing some teamwork, finding a lovely sunny spot, managed to catch a mouse, and caught a big rabbit. Okay. Quiet Breeze is expecting kids. Mantis Blaze has now joined the Elder's Den. She's feeling very happy about it. Quiet Breeze! And Hatch Whoop are expecting kids. Oh, that's so exciting. Let's see. Talking about a vision together. Learning about eagles and hummingbirds. A rogue ran off. Seeing some lovely hummingbirds. Managed to catch a lot of prey. Practice some teamwork. Caught a lot of prey. And did not eat the fresh kill. Okay. We now have Basil Paw, who has joined us. Quiet Breeze thinks we'll have two kids. So we now have Basil Paw. He is a sneaky little one. Okay, so he and the other apprentices are around the same age. A 
Let's see, talking more about a Star Clan vision. J Paw was able to become freed, managed to catch a bird before it flew off, checking for a badger. I'm going to have you go with Elm Flame. See, Basil Paw's okay. Managed to catch a rabbit together. Drove off a fox. Telling some scary stories. And settling a dispute, okay? Quiet Breeze and Hatchwood had three kids? Well, let's check out. Basil Paw. Basil Paw has Pebble Patch as his mentor. Okay, that's a good choice. Now we have little Newt Kid. She's a polite little kitten. She's single color like Quiet Breeze, but has the has some of the gray from Hatch Swoop. We have a darker gray that's from Hatch Swoop, but still single color for Wild Kid. He's a bullying little kitten. And we have some speckles, which I believe is also from Hatch Swoop. He's a little attention seeker, Buck Kit. Oh my goodness, they're all so cute. All of them so cute. Let's see, talking about a vision I forgot to put in Hope Claw. But that's okay. Let's see, we're not going to pursue a fox. Missilepaw's learning. Warning about a lot of two legs. Practicing some new fighting techniques. Blaze Flash is okay. Stocking up on a lot of herbs. Fought off some rogues and managed to catch a mouse. Okay, good. Mantis Blaze was brought back to camp after wandering off. Mantis Blaze, you gotta be careful. Let's see. Brought in some cranberries. Okay. Still learning a lot of things. Managed to bring back some fresh kill. Managed to catch a mouse. Talking about potentially having a dream from Star Clan. Managed to get a squirrel. Practicing some new hunting techniques. Practicing some more hunting techniques. Practicing a lot of teamwork. And did not eat the fresh kill. Shade Light's expecting kits, and Kestrel Claw has now wished to join the elders. It's alright, Kestrel Claw. She had a nightmare. She's bold and a good storyteller. Gusleaf is going to become an elder as well next moon. She's also currently in the medicine den. So soon we are about to have three elders in total. And I guess turtle skips soon enough. So far turtle skip has been really nice. All of these cats are about to become warriors soon. And then soon enough it'll be the little kids turn to become apprentices, and Shade Light and Hope Claw are going to have some kits together. That's so exciting. Let's see. Learning some more about cranberries. Learning how to catch a thrush. Learning about Kia birds. Learning some new fighting techniques. 
and learning how to rock climb, good. Managed to catch some prey, managed to hunt, caught a big rat, and caught a mouse. Okay, good. Gus Leaf has now joined the Elder's Den. We now have J Eyes, Moth Mist, Missile Pass, and Forest Shell, and Basil Whisker. All right, let's check out our new warrior. So here's J.I. She is bold and smart. She's reinforcing the camp with some brambles right now. Moth Mist, she is loyal and a dream walker. She's feeling a bit stressed taking care of the clan. Missile Patch has a suggestion for the clan leader that he wishes to present. He is wise and a great hunter. Forest Shell, she's thinking about Kit. She's shameless and a great teacher. Okay, are you interested in anybody? You're interested in Basil Whisker, he's still sneaky. Troublesome, confident. You know what, I think you and Basil Whisker will get along perfectly. Basil Whisker is thinking how awful kitty pet food must taste. He is sneaky and a good speaker and was formerly a kitty pet. He has a smoke colored pelt, but I can't really tell. And then these little kids will become apprentices fairly soon. So we're gonna have all four of our medicine cats go ahead and go out on patrol where they talk about uh, visions from Star Clan. Everybody practices some new hunting techniques, manage to drive off some rogues, talking about a potential vision, managing to catch a mouse, and manage to catch a nice big rabbit. Shade Light and Hope Claw have three kids. Wild Kit died of kitten cough, no. Little baby, no. Oh, tried to sneak out of camp and got kitten cough, oh gosh. Poor baby. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> I'll, I'll put what his full name would have been down in the description. I'm um, poor wild kit. Oh. He's our first kit that's in Star Clan, unfortunately. Bursi is whispering in the ear of Weasel Pelt. How about you leave? <laughs> Let's check out the new kits. We have Flax Kit. She's a quiet kitten. We have Bug Kit. She's a little attention seeker. And we have Tumble Kit. She's a little impulsive. You look just like Shade Light. Just like your dad. You have a lot of the red from Hope Claw. And you're all black and white, or white with little bits of black here and there. Makes me think of your uncle. New Kit and Buck Kit have lost their brother, but they're still here. They're still with us. Let's see, talking about a vision from Star Clan. Managed to drive off a lot of rogues, finding a lovely sunny spot, telling some stories, bringing back some songbirds, and managed to cross these underpass safely. Mick Whisker has retired. Forest Shell and Tulip Pelt died because of Green Cough. No! Tulip Pelt and Forest Shell. Oh, poor Whirlblotch and Slippy. They must be devastated. Oh. That's really, really sad. And now we have Shimmer Pelt. He's wise and a good speaker. What about... I could have sworn they... Poor Basil Whisker. 
He just lost his mate. <sighs> That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt really bad. Mink Whisker is now an elder. So, Gus Leaf, Mantis Blaze, Mink Whisker, Kestrel Claw are now elders. Soon enough, it'll be Turtle Skip. Oof. Let's see, finding a lovely sunny spot for themselves. Renewing scent marks. Managing to catch a rat. Bringing back some songbirds. We're not going to go near that large dog. And managing to catch a squirrel. Newt Paw has Maple Heart. His, uh, sorry, her, uh, her uncle. Buck Paw has Snippy. Yeah, Snippy's a very good one. Moth Mist now wears a moth wing. Lovely. Newt Paw is empathetic. She's tasked with lining nests with fresh moths. Buck Paw is responsible and had quite the adventure. I feel so bad for poor Basil Whisker, rethinking his life choices. Yeah, because he just lost his mate that he had only recently was able to get with. <sighs> Dear. Finding a lovely sunny spot. Practicing some hunting techniques. Managing to catch a mouse. Practicing some new fighting techniques. Caught a lot of fish. Talking about a vision. Telling stories. Catching a lot of fish again. Okay, I'm going to stop it here at 121. So Star Clan, sorry, Starling Clan had a lot going on. Sadly, we got a lot more deaths, but we also got a lot more kits and new cats joining the clan. Unfortunately, this little one did not make it. He's already missing a loved one, and we have our first Dark Forest Cat for Starling Clan, which is Burseed for murdering two cats. Yeah, she murdered two cats. Which I think is just absolutely awful. But as of right now, at least her kits have gone to become better cats. And no one has murdered anybody. I'm still a bit hesitant on Turtle Skip, but again, she hasn't done anything. She hasn't hurt anybody. And soon she's going to be an elder. So, unless she does anything, she'll be just fine. And we gained a lot more elders as well. We got some new kits who are just three moons old. In three more moons, they shall become apprentices. And now we have Newt Paw and Buck Paw as apprentices. And we have much more medicine cats after we had one pass away. Aloe Cloud then decided to be a medicine cat. Now, then Hope Claw became one, and then Moth Mist became one. So it's lovely to see that we have four medicine cats as well as having so many other cats. We'll just have to see how everything goes and go from there. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Have a good day everybody, and goodbye!